I couldn't resist with the beginning there. So happy May 4th. Uh, this is just uh, going to be a quick update. Uh, qu uh, Dragon OS, uh, I did another ISO, another update, rolled up everything that has been discussed in previous videos as well as some new additional things. Uh, and I'm going to push that ISO out, or it will be pushed out today. Uh, it's got Kismet, yet again, uh, updated 2020-04-R3, uh, latest kernel as of the yesterday, 5.3.0-51. I've added the, uh, we talked about it in the previous video, video LTE self-scanner <coughs> version 2, which is sitting in the user source directory. Uh, that's just compatible with uh, HackRF. Uh, once I get my hands on a Blade RF, I'll probably make sure it works on that as well. Uh, we have now have SRS uh, LTE uh, in the full suite of tools in here. OpenWebRx is now installed uh, from source. You drop into OpenWebRx, you can do That'll open up in localhost 8073. So that's uh, pre-installed now. There's a whole video I did on that and how to edit the config file, so I won't go over that again. Uh, AirSpy, AirSpy support, someone had mentioned that. I hadn't actually used it before, but now uh, I have the spy server on here. You can check out the maybe we'll do a separate video on this but you can check out the config file change the uh, IP the bind IP from uh, localhost or 127.0.0.1 to the IP of the computer and then you can um, let's see you can spin up uh, the spy server jump over to a Windows machine and we can go through this later but you download a SDR or the SPY server, uh, SDR Sharp. I came in here, changed it to the SPY server network, put in the IP address and the port. Expect with dedicated pro associates and loaders to help you get what you need fast. I am actually really impressed with uh, this software. I hadn't used it before, so we'll do that in a separate video, but that's uh, in there now. Uh, let's see. Sig Digger is now in here. It's in the user source directory. Uh, it's a uh, app image. You should be able to, you might have to add sudo. But um, spin that up. You got access to Sig Digger now, pre installed. This is it uh, using my RTL SDR. We've got uh, GRRDS is in here now. If you come into the apps folder, do GNU radio companion RDS. And you don't have to do anything special now. I've got it set up where if you just do this, it'll come up. We see we've got the RTL SDR source. Go ahead and hit play. See, we've got the RDS working. Okay. Uh, let's see, Soapy Remote I put in there. Uh, GR IIO for the Pluto. GR Correct IQ. G Predict. Multimon NG. Uh, WSJT. 
let's see, G predict. It's in here. Chirp is in here. So just a that's just a quick uh, rundown. There's, uh, like I said, everything that we talked about and more. Uh, oh, GR uh, GR Sophie's in here. So if you go to GNU Radio Companion, open up a new flow graph here. You can come down. Let's see, soapy sink. All right, so should be using the uh, soapy source now. All right, that's just a quick rundown and that ISO will be up there.